previously on Hamilton Engineering School. So together with UBS, we found three children and we've invited them to the factory. And to surprise them, they don't know it yet, but I'm going to be there in full cosmetics. So I've heard that your school is going to be working on a special project for my team. We have kept our promise and we're now back at Hebo, Kieran and Elijah School to tell the Year 6 students about an exciting new competition. It was a pleasure to host Hebo, Kieran and Elijah at the Mercedes factory. As a follow-up, we're now inviting the whole school to come up with some new car designs for us. So get in your teams, work hard, be a good teammate to one another and I can't wait to see what your imaginations and technical skills come up with. In group one, sitting on this table. I'm really happy to be part of this competition and it's a great opportunity. Who do you guys think should be team principal? I'm the team principal. I'll do the top design and be the lead artist. Mercedes and UBS are ganging up to do this project because both of us have got a long standing commitment to invest in STEM education with young folk and in particular with people from diverse backgrounds. We've been using Fusion software to make 3D cars. Right guys, we've got 10 minutes to uh, finalise your design, just 10 minutes. Remember to save it. That's it for the first day. The designs will now be 3D printed and the children will get a chance to see their designs come to life. Back to the school as the children get to see their models. We've rigged up a mini-sized wind tunnel to test the aerodynamics of each car. The next stage is, is for the children to attach their cars onto the chassis. And once they've done that, they'll be painting on their own unique designs in preparation for the competition. During the competition day, each car will compete in a straight line race to measure the speed of the car. They will also be judged on the design, aerodynamics, innovation, teamwork and their 60 second pitch. Really looking forward to seeing what all the children have done today. It's been a short, intense week for them and I can't wait to see what they've come up with. Two, one, go. With the race complete, it's time to move on to the presentations. We have created a lot of special features in our car, like a good spoiler, lightweight body and flexible top. Due to its low and lightweight design, it can race smoothly and quickly. Lovely things in front of us, but I think when we're, when we're judging who wins, I think we've got to remember all the criteria that we're asked them to address. So that's the speed, the creativity, the quality of their pitch, and crucially, how well they work together as a team. It went pretty amazing, and I can't believe everyone really designed their car. I'm really looking forward to find out the overall winner. For you guys to be able to make something this good when you've never ever done a 3D design in a CAD system before, it's a brilliant achievement. So well done to each and every one of you. But I'm afraid we did actually have to pick out a winner. So the overall winner of this competition is Team Shrimka. When our team won, I was quite surprised because many other people did so well in the competition. I just want to say that all of you will be actually getting a prize, which is a Lego kit. We at Mercedes and also our partners at UBS want to support things like this. We want to set challenges like this. And it's deeply rewarding for us to see the children taking up a challenge like this and really knocking it out of the park. Anything is possible with the right energy and determination and I truly believe in you guys and in your dreams so um, you can manifest it. Hope to see you guys soon.